A myth is an ancient story created to explain natural events. Gods, goddesses, and heroes are among the characters in the myths. In addition to explaining events in nature, some myths also present Amber, a lesson. Hey, I have something to tell you. Serve as a warning to follow the rules of the society. What's that for? <laughs> to get your attention. Listen, there's a new transfer here in our school. His name is Noah. And I heard he's a hottie. His classroom is just right next to us. What? That's it? It doesn't even concern me, Liz. You know that. Oh, right. I have a boy hater best friend. I forgot. Sorry, my bad. Ugh. A hottie. Sounds like a playboy to me. What are some myths that you have read? What makes these stories a myth? Please answer, Miss Amber. Amber! What now, Liz? If you gotta bring up again about that Noah or the so-called Mr. Hotty New Transferee, then I'll bet you this. He's just gay. Or he might be a gay. Who knows? He might be a gangster, a playboy, a rapist. Don't get fooled by looks, Liz. At the end of the day, this boy you're talking about will make you cry. Okay. Are you finished? <gasps> oh no! I guess that might be an answer to a certain topic, but I'm asking about myths, Miss Amber. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna make you cry, Amber. She said that, yes. She really are a boy hater. Huh? Oh no! Hey, are you two talking to me? Mm -hmm. No, of course not. We are leaving by the way. Come on! Mm -hmm. Jeez, they are right. She's scary. Why? Why they don't just leave me alone? I'm sick of them. Just by looking at them gives back those memories I don't want to remember. When will this gonna stop? Ah, uh, ow! Ah. Uh, hey, miss. Are you okay? Ah, uh, I think I sprained my ankle. Ugh. Oh. Uh, I. I. I can't hear anything. I think I'm gonna pass out. Clinic. You passed out. Huh? Who... Who are you? What are you doing here? Why... Why are you talking to me? Why... Hey, slow down. One question at a time. Oh... You're the one at the track. You bumped me. It's your fault I'm here. Excuse me? You're the one who bumped me. I even carried you all the way here just to get you treated. Show some gratitude, lady. Amber! 
Are you all right? What happened? No, I'm not okay, Liz. It's this man's fault. And guess what? He even said, Show some gratitude, lady. Can you believe that? He wants me to thank him. Ah, uh, Amber. And did I heard it correctly, mister? You carried me? A boy just carried me? Oh, no, no, no. That can't be. Please tell me you're lying. Please tell me you're lying! Uh, <laughs> uh, don't mind her. She's a boy hater. Oh. Let me be the one to apologize. And thank you for bringing her here. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I hope you understand. No, really, that's fine. I'll better get going. Take care of your boy hater best friend. I'll better get going. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What are you doing, Liz? <gasps> That's Noah! I can't believe it! I just talked with Noah! OMG! Oh gosh... Why did I have a crazy best friend? <laughs> Understand it anyway. Okay. Well, see you tomorrow then. See you. Take care of yourself. Love ya. Bye bye. Why did I have a best friend that hated boys so much? <laughs> I heard it, Liz. <sighs> she didn't get it either. All boys are annoying. She'll probably end up getting hurt by them. Hey, guess what? I saw Noah carrying Amber to the clinic. What? Really? How he do that? I didn't know either. He's so lucky. If Amber will just turn into a nice, normal student, I'd be the first one to pursue her. Hmm. <laughs> Are you serious, dude? That monster? You'll pursue her? Well, for me, even if she's the one last girl on the planet, I'll never come near her. <gasps> what? Don't you agree? Shut up, dude. She's here. <gasps> oh no. We're sorry, sorry Amber. We're sorry, Amber. Please forgive us. We are leaving now, right? Yes, yes, we're leaving. Bye, Amber. <laughs> I know that girl. That's the mad girl. Hey, you all right? Him again? None of your business. Incredible. Just so you know, you owe me an apology and thank you. Forget it. <laughs> Oops. Shocks. Want to live? Looks like the rain will never stop. Don't talk to me. I guess I'll take that as a note. 
No umbrella? Just go away, okay? Uh... Here. Just take it, then I'll go. Fine. Now go. <laughs> Unbelievable. You owe me now two thank yous. Plus, an umbrella. See you tomorrow. Bye. What the? Ah, so annoying. Two thank yous, plus an umbrella. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, that boy is getting to my nerves. It's time for bed. You've been a naughty girl today, Lily. You know that? you even if how many times you poop on the floor you know i still love you right <laughs> okay that's enough good night lily What? 
the heck's happening here? A sailor went to... Oh, Amber is here. Come join us. We are playing a sailor went to sea. A what? <laughs> what are you? Seven years old? What's happening here, by the way? Sir Jiro will be here in a minute. Sir Jiro is not around today. So we still have one hour before our next teacher arrives. Come, let's have some fun over there. Uh, Amber? Yes, James? What can I do for you? I... I just wanted to ask you if... You are free this weekend? Nope. Oh. Come on, Liz. Uh, let's play a sailor went to sea. <laughs> you know what? You're always mean to James. I mean, he's nice. He just wants a little chat with you. Well, I'm not interested. Yeah, I knew you would say that. A sailor went to see, see, see To see what he could see, see, see But all that she could see, see, see Was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see find you here not again <laughs> Noah what do you want Wow not so much for our greeting huh <laughs> but it's the first time you call me by my name how surprising how surprising how surprising my butt <laughs> you know what you're getting into my nerves <laughs> huh? well that's good. It just means you remember me before you go to sleep. How <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Are you here to annoy me again? Hey, no one's annoying you. You are. Okay, whatever. I'm just here to get my umbrella back. Then you should have said it in the first place, idiot. Ah, uh, where it is. Ah. Uh, uh, I'll give it back to you tomorrow. No. I want it now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't have it. So, you have left my umbrella. Let's get it from your house then. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Why would I let you go to my place? Because I want my umbrella now, but you don't have it. So? <laughs> then I'll buy you one. Uh, somewhere near here. That umbrella is from my father. It has sentimental value. I can't let you replace that. Then why did you... Oh, fine. Let's go. Wait here. Okay. Wow. 
What a beautiful house! Oh! And a beautiful cat, too! Hello there! What's your name? <laughs> you know, your owner is beautiful, too! I just hope she could put a smile to that beautiful face. Can I? Can I put a smile to that gorgeous face? What are you staring at? Huh? Lily! What did I tell you? I said don't talk with strangers, right? Get down there! So, your name is Lily. That's very cute. <laughs> Hey, I think your cat likes me. <laughs> Just get your umbrella and get out of here, dumbass. Sorry, Lily. I'll see you around then. Hey, can I use your bathroom? No. Okay. What? No thank you yet? Right. You want your thank you? I'll give it to you then. Just don't show your face in front of me again. Why? Did I do something wrong? you just it's none of your business don't bother me anymore i hate it what if i don't i want to know the reason why you hated boys this much amber this weekend, right? How about next week? How come he didn't get it? I'm not free either, James. How about next next week? Not free. Okay then. How about next 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 week? Busy. Alright. How about next 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 week? Is that a love letter? Oh! Hi there, Marcus! This? It's nothing! Hey! To Noah, from Lizzie. Hey! Give it back to me! Are you deaf? I said, <gasps> give it back! Oh. Stop messing around, Marcus! This is not yours! Give it back! Hey, there's nothing to be mad about. I'm just curious. I'll give it back to you. Here. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes, I get Ember's point. Sound boys really are annoying. Hey, don't tell Amber about this. <laughs> 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 
Really? How about next, 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 next? Amber! <laughs> oh, thank God you're here. Excuse me, James. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it? Here. What's this? I know you will hate this, but can you give this to Noah? Please? For me? Uh. <laughs> Liz, you know I'll do anything for you, right? Just accept this. Not this, Liz. I know, but please, Amber, you know, I'm very shy. I wish I have the same confidence like you have. This letter, it means a lot to me. So please, Amber, just this one, please. Ah, oh. <laughs> how can I resist that face? <laughs> Fine. Just this one, okay? Yay! Thank you, Amber! <laughs> I'm quite impressed, dude. You've been here for just... What? Almost a month? Yet... You got very famous with girls. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. Hey, what's with you and Amber, by the way? I saw her get inside your car yesterday. I mean, how'd you do that? We all know here that she's a boy hater. And all of us are not willing to make a move on her. Except that James, he's the persistent one. Who's James? Oh, he's her classmate. The small black hair, brown eyes dude, the son of our English teacher. But don't you worry, she's not into him. So you have your chance. Hey, you! <laughs> She's here. Maybe. Lizzie told her what happened earlier this morning. <laughs> Noah, save me! <laughs> oh, hi there. Are you here to make an apology? About what you did to me yesterday? No, you deserve that. I'm here give you this a love letter for me first of all that's not from me it's from Lizzie you know my red-haired best friend oh right I remember you know I'm going to be honest and straightforward here mister my best friend is very into you, and I don't know why. This letter, it means a lot to her. So you better read it, or else you're dead. Got it? Uh, crystal clear, ma'am. <laughs> Told you. Is she like that all the time? Yeah. Why is that? No one knows.
I'm home, Mom. Perfect. I'm done cooking, dear. Now change your clothes and let's eat. Okay, Mom. Did you take your medicine this morning? Yep. Good. How's school? Do you love your new school, dear? I think... What'd you do to me? There's nothing left to see You left me in the dark now And I'm blended with disease What'd you do to me? Maybe it's my dignity <laughs> I'm loving it now, Mom. And there is no remedy. I just hope. Mm -hmm. oh. My surgery will be successful. Hey. Oh. Mom, I don't want us to move out again and look for another hospital. I, don't know. I want to stay here, to stay with that school. I know, dear, and I hope that too, especially with your upcoming surgery. I know this whole thing could be really tiring, but we'll keep fighting, right? You will keep fighting. That's what you promised me. Yes, Mom. That's what I promised. I... I'll keep fighting. My surgery is coming fast. Chance of survival? 50-50. That's what the doctor said. I remembered it clearly. That's when I realized that we are all living on a borrowed time. Every day is a gift. I started to think that way. Just give and forgive. I just forget all the bad days and think only of the joy of seeing the sun rise once more. Even under this difficult condition. Amber. What do I need to do to make her realize that? I want to change her. And that's... That's what I'm going to do. A geometric progression, also known as a geometric sequence, is a sequence of non-zero numbers where each term after the first is found by multiplying the previous one by a fixed non-zero number called the common ratio. For example, the sequence 2, 6, 18, I'm waiting for one. If you have read my letter, please send me at least one message. Three. Similarly, 10, 5, 2.5, 1.25 is a geometric sequence with common ratio one and a half. Hey Liz, are you listening? Huh? Uh yeah, of course. Hm. <gasps> oh, this might be it. Hi Lizzie, it's me Noah. Thank you for writing me a letter. Can I call? <gasps> <laughs> Later. Why? Oh. It's not fair. I ship Red and Zia. It hurts. I wish Red finds the right girl for him. What? Me? No. I don't need men in my life. 
I couldn't live without them. What? I only watch movies because it's very entertaining. But we all know this type of men like Red and Vince. They don't really exist in real life, right? I wonder how's Lizzie. She's not responding to my text messages. Right. She must be very focused with Noah right now. I can already imagine her face. Big happy, circle eyes, cheeks blushing red, big smile on her face. That's my cute, innocent best friend. I just hope Noah treats her well. If he makes her cry, I'm gonna make sure he'll regret it. Hi! Hi! So, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. That's good. Thank you for the letter, by the way. <laughs> Where are you, Liz? Sir Jiro will be here in 10 minutes. your calls I'm just so embarrassed why what happened did he do something you know you can tell me right I told him I like him <laughs> what seriously in your first meetup yeah but I wish I didn't what did he say oh don't get me wrong he's so nice we had a fun chat like getting to know each other then when I got very settled, I told him, You know what? I like you. Oh gosh! I wish I didn't say that! <laughs> then, what happened? Of course I said, Oh no, no. Sorry, doesn't mean anything. Huh? It's okay. <laughs> I completely understand how you feel. It's normal. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. He is so caring, Amber. A perfect gentleman. He also wanted to be friends with me. And then, he took me home. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. You're welcome. It's nice meeting you, Lizzie. It's nice meeting you too, Noah. Ah, uh, sorry. I haven't said this earlier. Huh? There's this girl that really got my attention. Like what I said earlier, I understand how you feel because there is someone I like too. What you do to me? <laughs> then, what did you say? I said sure. I just hope this girl likes him back. You know, if this girl is making him happy, then I'm okay with it. I wonder if that girl knows how lucky she is. Noah is a perfect gentleman. I mean, he didn't need to answer my letter, right? He could just reject it directly. But instead, he chose to call me, go out with me, get friends with me, make sure that I go home safe. Everything! This girl, she's so lucky. home yet? Ah, uh, yeah. There is something I need to settle first. Okay, I'll go ahead. See you tomorrow. Take care, Liz. <sighs> Here we go. Are you sure, Amber? You're going to do this? Once it's done, there's no turning back. <sighs> yes, I'm doing it. I don't care. All I know is this is the right thing to do. Oh, look dude, am I seeing this correctly? What is she doing here? Noah, I think she's looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Is there anything I can do for you? I... I just wanted to say... 
thank you. <laughs> am I... Am I hearing it correctly? You are thanking me? <laughs> For what? Don't laugh. I'm serious. Oh. Okay. Why so sudden? This is all about what you did to Lizzie. And... I'm sorry. I am wrong about you. You know... I don't know what happened that made you hate boys so much. But... I want you to remember this. Not all boys are bad. You know my dad? He passed away when I was just seven. I I'm sorry to hear that. That's alright. Me and my mom are okay with it now. He died protecting us. Huh? There was a fire on our old house. Me and my mother are stuck inside. We felt very hopeless. I know there are firefighters outside. I can hear them. They are trying their best to get us out. But due to the heavy fire, there is no luck. My father got very furious. So, he handled it on his own. He bravely runs inside. Fortunately, me and my mother were saved, but it didn't make it. Until now, I looked up to him. He's my hero. Amber, if it is okay, can I ask why you hated boy so much? I guess not all fathers are the same like my dad. He left us when I was just a baby. I don't know exactly the reason. Maybe he got tired of us? Or he doesn't love my mother anymore? I don't know. All I know is he left a big hole in my heart. just start because after that all my preschool days I was bullied there is this ugly boy with his ugly backup that is always annoying me saying I don't have a father he left us because he doesn't love us anymore he left us because me and my mother are ugly and all kind of bullying stuff Always made me cry during night. Like, how can a father leave his child? Why are those kids so mean? <laughs> then I started to realize, maybe old boys are the same. They don't know anything except hurting us girls. When I saw my mom crying, that is when I started to fight back. I said to myself, no boys can hurt me and my mom anymore. Now I understand. Thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs> I guess we both have a sad life back then. Yeah. I agree. Are you alright? Yeah, I just got out of balance. <laughs> Are you sure? Is everything okay? Of course. Uh, it's getting dark. I'm taking you home. No, I'm fine. I still need to go buy some cat food for Lily. You sure? I can drive you there if you want. I can handle it. Thanks. Okay. Just take care. I will. Bye. Hmm. I guess I'll 
take this. That's all, miss. Thanks. I'm hungry. I want to eat. I don't have money, dumbass. First, we must find one. How about getting that back? There's no one else around the area. Plus, the girl is beautiful too. Come on. Yeah, but I know she's gonna buy some cat food. Uh, okay. Maybe her phone was silent. Can you call her as well? I just want to make sure. I'll text you her number. Sure. Thanks, Noah. Bye. That's weird. I must check on her. How do I turn this thing off? <laughs> Please. I'll give you anything I have. Just let me go. Oh, too bad for you. You are ours now. <laughs> help! Somebody, help! Make her shut up. To do this, you've done enough. Lizzie is on the way here. Take some rest and go home. Don't mind me. I will not leave you until Lizzie gets here. Where's your mom? Oh, she's in the province. I don't want her to get worried. Hmm. Hmm. Let me fix your bandage. Does it still hurt? much Amber Are you all right? Sorry I'm not there when that happened. Noah, I'm so glad you saved Amber. If it is not for you, I don't know what will happen to my best friend. I'm glad I was able to help. <laughs> Amber, be careful next time, please. Promise me that. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes, Liz, I will. <laughs> Hmm. Why 
what? What is that feeling? Huh? Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, does it still hurt? Uh, uh not anymore. Good. Just let me know if you need anything. I'm just right here. <laughs> huh? that <laughs> he's too obvious wait where are you smiling you're not mad or something i thought you liked noah <laughs> don't be so naive marcus it was just an infatuation but this can't you see this <laughs> i can see love uh-huh where <laughs> you're not getting it are you Amber the boy hater will finally fall in love. Come on, we need a plan. <laughs> Is this really necessary? <laughs> of course. You will help me do this. First, in the library. <laughs> Is she? Huh? Why is Noah here? <clears throat> Have you seen Lizzie? No, I'm just here waiting for Marcus. Oh. Okay. I think the library is quite full. You can sit and wait here for the meantime. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Look, look, look. Look at this. <laughs> Success. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Next, in the cooking room. <laughs> Where are you, Marcus? I've been waiting whole day. doing here i'm here waiting for marcus oh that's weird this also happened in the library what are you doing be careful lizzie told me to return this box here oh oh, oh no it's gonna fall ah. oh ow one hmm I knew it oh no what are you doing Liz gotta go you didn't know how happy I am amber huh why that hatred from your heart it is gradually disappearing and it is because of Noah have you noticed it all I want is What's best for you? What's best for my best friend? <laughs> Amber! 
Oh, James. I know I have asked you this many times. Huh? Are you free this weekend? Maybe that already sounds so annoying to you, but I just want to have a little chat. Oh, no, never mind. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> sure. Huh? You mean that? <laughs> of course. Great. See you this Saturday. <laughs> Hi, Amber. I'm glad you came. <laughs> What'd you do to me? There's nothing left to see. You left me You're late. Huh? What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm just making sure James will take you home on time. Uh, huh? Oh, why is he so caring? It's none of your business. Wait! I just want to know what happened. Look, Noah. It's late. You better go home. Huh? You ignoring me now? Why? Do you have feelings for him? Uh, huh? Why are you doing this? Isn't it obvious? Huh? This is not right. Huh? You come into my house? It's not right. It's late. You better go home. Meet me tomorrow, 4 p.m. at Promenade. What? Why? Let's have a date. What? A date? See you tomorrow! No, wait! <laughs> What is going on with me? Where's Noah? I don't know. Uh, are you hiding him? Uh... No, I'm telling the truth. He's absent. I've been contacting him, but there's no response. Uh, uh, me too, Amber. He's not responding to my calls and messages. Maybe he doesn't have the face to show up. I'll wait for him tomorrow then. Hmm. What will you do to him? Hmm. I think I'm gonna murder him. Jeez. She's scary. That's all, class. See you tomorrow. Where are you, Noah? <laughs> Where is he? Oh, he's absent again today. Are you telling the truth? Yes, I wish I was just hiding him, but it's not. I'm getting worried. Uh, do you know where he lives? No. <sighs> okay, class, don't forget to study tonight. Prepare for the exam tomorrow. <clears throat> hmm. 
<clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know why Nova is absent? Huh? Uh, yeah. Huh? Hmm. But his family wants to keep it private. I know you are worried, but I cannot disclose any information. I'm so sorry. What happened to him? Amber! Miss Ida is James' mother, right? Maybe you can ask James? <laughs> James, wait! Oh, hi, Amber. What's wrong? Why your faces are like that? James, do you know what happened to Noah? The new transferee in the 1-2 section? Your mother is their English teacher too. Maybe she knows, then he told you. You didn't know? He's in the hospital. Sorry. I know how frustrated you are. What happened to you? I have a disease. It's called Fredrag's Ataxia. It causes me difficulty walking. Right now, I can barely feel my legs. I have a surgery next week. It was supposedly next month, but... It have worsened, so they said they need to do it right away. So, they need to transfer me to another hospital. Today's my last day here in Sakura. <laughs> Why you didn't tell us? Why you didn't tell me? <laughs> because, I don't want everyone to get worried. Especially you. <laughs> I've heard my surgery comes with a 50-50 chance of survival rate. What? Amber, if I'm not gonna make it... <laughs> Don't say that! I love you. Do you love me too? I'll give you my answer if you come back to me alive. You understand that?
Hey, we've been looking for you. Mom. I miss him so much. Don't cry, dear. It's your birthday. <laughs> I wish he was here. I know, dear. But everyone is waiting for you outside. You should enjoy your party. Oh, I almost forgot. Lizzie have a birthday gift for you. She said you should wear this. <laughs> Is this really necessary, mom? Yes, dear, continue walking. Almost there. Okay, stop. You can take it off now. This is Lizzie and Marcus' plan. We want to surprise you in your birthday. <laughs> I know I must come back to you because you haven't told me your answer yet. Do you love me too? <laughs> of course. I I love you too. I love you more. Messing with 
Staying up when I 